Hey guys, and welcome to Lexus World. If you've got one of these in your possession, then it most likely means that your employer is doing a urine drug test. Now, the large majority of the time they use urine tests to test for drugs rather than hair or blood tests because they're cheaper. So how do you pass one if you smoke cannabis? Well, first things first, when it comes to urine tests and marijuana, there's no exact amount of time before you can safely pass a test. It depends on the person. However, I can give you general estimates. Roughly speaking, occasional smokers are generally safe after a week or two weeks at most. Heavy smokers, meaning once per day or more, can take a whole month or even a little bit longer to clean out their system for a urine test. But that's the amounts if you don't help the process along. So how do you reduce the number of days it takes to test clean? Well, even though your THC is stored in fat, not urine, the key to passing is to keep your kidneys working and your system filtering. So, number one, get lots of exercise. The leftover THC, which is stored in your fat cells, can be used up while your body is processing lots of energy. Number two, drink lots of water. I mean a few glasses per day. Don't go nuts drinking gallons and gallons because A, you can get water poisoning, and B, too much water dilution can red flag a sample for an employer. Now, there's also a couple of simple things you can do on test day to help your odds greatly. First off, take a pee on the day of your test before the test. The first piss of the day is always a tougher pass, so you want to get rid of it. Number two, Try not to get the urine from the beginning or the very end of your stream inside the cup, even if instructed to do so. Your midstream is the cleanest and least likely to test positive. As a side note, guys, don't bother with urine cleaners and anti-doping products sold all over the place for a ton of reasons. First off, they contain common ingredients for rip-off prices, they claim to work and they usually don't, and they are detectable by many labs, which again might result in an auto fail, or at the very least raise some questions with your employer. And finally, on a more personal note, guys, don't worry too much about your urine test unless you happen to work in a very safety-strict industry. A lot of companies talk big when it comes to urine testing, but let the marijuana positive tests slide. When you look at reality, when pot is the only substance involved, there are far fewer actual dismissals and firings than there are positive drug tests. Well guys, that's our show for today. Hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button up top and the like button below. We'll catch you next time on Lex's World. And good luck.